Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Conservation Pack launch day. If you're watching this when this video goes live, the Conservation Pack for Planet Zoo will be launching and available in about an hour from now. In today's video, we are going to do the first of four videos that you'll see on the channel today. And this is talking about the Amur leopard, which is one of four habitat animals coming to the new pack. So what I thought we would do is we would jump in take a look at these guys, talk about what their needs are, what enrichment items they can use, and then take a look at some of their animations just so you guys can get a feel of what they're going to look like in game. So as you can see, I have three different adults in this habitat and they actually have three different color variations, although they are incredibly subtle. One is beige, one is tan, and one is yellow, uh, as the description says, if we were to click on them. But I have a really hard time telling the difference so they are extremely subtle but they're there and then we have some cubs like this little guy taking a nap how cute I decided to record this one first because I mean come on little baby leopards <laughs> But we are here in a little tester uh, park that you'll get very familiar with if you watch all the uh, all the rest of the videos because I'm basically going to throw all the brand new animals in this makeshift little habitat. But before we jump into their Zoopedia page, let's take a look over to the right here. I have all of the enrichment items that the Amir Leopard is going to be able to use. We've got the ice blocks, the blood scent, blood pumpkin boxes, prey thingies, uh, the scented sack or whatever this is, uh, the hanging rope here here, scratching pose, sprinkler, and then the scratching trees in the back. But yeah, this is all of the enrichment that they are going to be able to use. Nothing new. These are all existing enrichment items. Now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and click on one of these guys and go to their Zoopedia. I won't read this to you, but as always, there's some fabulous information about them. They are considered critically endangered, which makes them perfect for the conservation pack. If we go to their natural habitat, you can see they're found on the continent of Asia in the regions of Russia and China. They like taiga and temperate. And here are their stats below here. This, of course, is for one adult. If we up it, that's two adults, three adults, which you probably wouldn't need because they only like one or two, which we'll get to in just a minute on the next tab. But there you go. There are their space requirements. Not too big, which is nice. 750 square meters. Uh, I probably will be ignoring this as always because I like to build in sandbox mode. For but, but for those of you, excuse me, who like to build in franchise mode, these are going to be what you are aiming for. Here is their species data. So as I mentioned before, one to two being one male and one female. If they are kept alone, they only like one of them. Uh, their mating system is uh, promiscuous, relationship with humans neutral, and no, your guests cannot enter your leopard habitats. Keep those guests safe on the outside. That would be best for these guys. Um, but with that aside, Zoopedia all covered and everything, the only I didn't really go to was the research and then they don't have any species enrichment with any other animal which is not surprising right they're a predator they're they're pretty much going to either fight or eat anything you put them in with um so they don't have any enrichment uh benefit from that uh but yeah let's go ahead and jump into I spent way too much time watching these guys and collecting lots of footage of all their animations so let's dive into that now and take a look the first animation we're going to see is a simple nap. They're going to stretch out their little paws, take a big yawn, and then curl up into a little ball. This is an animation that we've seen with other cats in the game, so nothing new, but it's just very cute to see the leopard do it. The next animation is going to be the scratching. So this is actually using the scratching tree enrichment item. We're going to take a look at it from two different angles. So this being the first one, they just walk up, get up onto the tree, use their front paws, dig those claws in and then do a little scratchy scratchy. I also did catch one of the little babies doing some scratching. So here is that the little guy, basically the exact same animation is just going to be with a little guy. And that just makes it a hundred times cuter because he's a baby leopard and he's adorable. <laughs> the next animation is one of my 
favorite. Speaking of how cute the babies are, how adorable is this tail animation? So the baby is going to, we're going to watch it again, is going to pounce on mom's tail, chase it around, and then fall over backwards. How adorable. Now, as we watch it just one more time, I totally forgot to check if this is an animation that's already present in other cats. I feel like it is, but it's just adorable on the leopard nonetheless. The next one's going to be some eating. Very simple, self-explanatory. The keeper's going to come up, fill the food tray, and these guys are going to sit down to have a meal. They kind of, you know, crouch down and take big bites with their mouths. Nothing super special about this one. Again, it's an animation that we've seen on other animals as well. Next, we have some enrichment item stuff. So this was a new enrichment item, I believe, that was introduced with the Europe pack. But yeah, Leopard gets up on there, scratches his little chin, looks around, and then jumps down. So love to see that this guy can use that. Here we have the mating animation. So male's going to come up behind and just kind of rub and lick and, you know, just sweet. Just nuzzle each other. <laughs> Very sweet animation. We have some grooming. So when they lay down, they can um, groom their little paws, give themselves some licks, get themselves nice and clean. The next animation is another one of my very favorites, and it is this one, the rolling animation. So they'll roll on the ground from time to time, roll over, lick their paw, rub their head on the ground. And it just is, it's very cat-like. <laughs> it's very sweet and it's very cat-like, and I love it. The next one is a social behavior. Behavior. So this is two adults kind of coming up, nuzzling. You can see the one on the right just kind of licked the other one's shoulder and then they kind of, you know, walk away. Here is it from another angle. And it's just a really sweet social animation. I love all of the animations with all of the animals. It just really makes me feel like the animals are more alive. And I love when they have ambient behaviors just kind of hanging out in their habitat. So that is just a very quick overview of the Amir Leopard. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm going to do a video on all of the species. So if this is the first one you're seeing, there will be three more on all of the other habitat species coming to the game. Please do let me know down below which is your favorite animation of the Amir Leopard and if you're excited to have it in the game. I sure am. I can't wait to get building for it. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. That like button's down below. So is the comment section and that all important subscribe button. Make sure you hit that one. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.